There's another video I would like to share with you. As everybody else, I'm, I'm quite a conservative guy. If I start using something, I'm using it for a long time. Uh, uh, for in terms of thermal compounds, I used Arctic Silver for a long time. And um, it turns to be conductive and pose potential danger if it goes on electronic components, so it can shortcut it. So, as everybody else, I shifted to MX2 or Arctic Silver Ceramic, both great product. And by accident recently I stumbled upon Gelid compound and when I did my CPU round test, to testing different CPUs, I did a separate gig and tried the Gelid compound and I found out that its performance wise is, is just identical to MX2 so there's no disadvantage of using that but also what I found that it's much easier to apply Gelid than MX MX is much more sticky and hard to apply it across a chip while Gelid is a more easy going product and uh, it's just simpler especially for people who don't do it every day and you lose your practice uh, Gelid is just much easier another thing uh, Gelid comes with this little thing which is uh, actually quite quite good too because because I always use my credit card just trying to use it uh, for spreading it was great uh, but it's hard to start initial spreading with it at the end it's great but initial spreading is hard this one is equally good for initial spreading and for final spreading so it's just part of the package and it's very very helpful so what I will do, I apply both on uh, both compounds of those two chips and, and just try to spread it and record my experience. And uh, you will see that uh, jelly is just more easier to work with and uh, that's the only purpose of that video, to show you that. Okay, let's start with uh, MX2 application. So we'll do it on the first chip here. This part is really pissing me off with MX2. So it's almost like a cheese. So when you apply it to the to the chip, when you try to take it away, you have the thing spreading, and it, in many cases, always went around the chip, especially for small chips. When I did the application for, uh, let's say, video cards, when you have a small chip, chips, uh, when you're applying this, this stuff is. That's what part I, I really not enjoying. So we have a little bit here, and uh, let's see. I do initial spread, and now I'll try to spread it across the CPU block. And it's, pretty, it's a new pack, it didn't, didn't really... It was in a drawer for a long time, anything like this, but it feels like something that... not as smooth. So... Here we go. Doesn't really stick that well. Probably I should clean those chips before and just took it from a shelf. So anyways, um, as you see, I have really difficulty here. Damn it. Probably need more compound. Just took out those places in the corners. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long, but I would consider this as a acceptable solution. Well, I do it all the time, so for me it's somewhat easy, but believe me, if it will be after f some time, it could be hard. Okay, so this is uh, 
is what takes me to apply MX2. So let's see what we have with Jellet here. Actually, it's also a little bit sticky, but I had the less problem with it in the past. So, uh, you see the difference? Well, I it's just like day and night. Wow, I surprised myself. I'm done. Can't believe it. Here you go. That's it.